Jazz is a type of music which everyone has heard of, but no one really knows how to define. Google says jazz is characterized by improvisation, syncopation, and regular or forceful rhythms, whatever that's supposed to mean. Basically, jazz is music without a lot of rules. With that said, it's time to go over the rules of jazz. Jazz can be summarized in a few main points. First, you'll need to know how to make stuff up as you go, or at least pretend to know how to make stuff up as you go, and secondly, the chords won't make sense, except for, of course, If you are curious as to whether a piece is considered jazz or not, take a look at the sheet music. If it uses an unreadable font that looks like a slightly less amateur Comic Sans, then it's probably jazz. It is, however, possible that the piece is not jazz and the composer was bored, or lonely. Probably lonely. At some point in the past hundred years, people got bored of major and minor chords and started adding more notes by going up major and minor thirds, and maybe even fourths if they were feeling frisky. People started doing weird and crazy things with these chords, like for example a thing called tritone substitution. And now hold on, what's a tritone? Well, simple, it's an interval that is exactly half an octave and no one really likes it. With that said, jazz musicians love tritones, for example, the C7 chord. Real jazzy, right? Well, listen closely, do you hear it? That is the devil's interval, the tritone. The 3 and 7 of a dominant 7 chord are always a tritone away. But hey, what happens if we make the B-flat the 3, call it an A-sharp, and make the E the 7? Then you have an F-sharp 7 chord, which is a tritone away from a C7 chord. And that's a tritone substitution. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not jazz unless the normies can't understand it. Odd time signatures have existed for years in jazz, and they appeared every now and then, but nowadays they're essential if you're trying to write new jazz. In fact, don't worry about writing new jazz anymore. Just take something from Louis Armstrong or Hoagy Carmichael, make it even more difficult for the normies to understand, and you'll be well on your way. You could also take one of the mind-numbingly boring pop songs on the radio right now and try to make that jazz. Thank you.